All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is your host of the evening, DJ Just JLK. I got a special guest with me. He is no stranger to this show. I want to introduce to you guys my friend QB from Butler Brand Clothing and the Den Podcast. Brother, what is going on, man? Man, what's going on? How you doing today, bro? Brother, I'm blessed. It's an honor to have you here, man. I'm good. How about yourself? Man, I can't complain. You know, it's a lot of hard work going on over here. So uh, building this this future thing that's going on with um Butler Brand and the Den Podcast, and I also um have Q Time Management. Okay, yeah, that's dope, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're here to do is um I kind of want to do a little catching up. It's been a while since we've talked to QB. He's got a lot of stuff going on right now. Not only with a a new clothing line that I definitely want you guys to check out and I'm going to let him give us some more information about that but I also understand that you got a podcast that you're getting ready to uh, get going here pretty soon yes it's the Den Podcast that is with my brother um, KT and my sister Jazz we all are from New Orleans um, our slogan for the whole um, show is um, just some kids from New Orleans okay cool yeah. man so with you guys being from New Orleans and and, and kind of give me um, an idea as far as like what gave you guys the idea to kind of collaborate on this and come together and create this podcast and what kind of things and kind of topics are you guys going to tackle on your podcast? Well, the whole the whole thing with the podcast is going to be experience. We uh, we have different things that we're going to do that is that is a little different from your um your everyday podcast. So. Um, for us, the subject wise, it's going to be open. We want people to let let their hair down and and be able to be comfortable with us to um, express what they want to talk about instead of you know how sometimes you have a podcast people limit themselves. But uh, well, I think with but between me, KT and Jazz, um, interviewing um, different people, um, I just feel like that we're going to bring something different to the table. And we also going to um, deal with um like new entrepreneurs and stuff too well my motivation with the podcast is more of um we have an opportunity to you know market ourselves we um we'll get to meet um a lot of different people we'll get to bring um up a lot of subjects that a lot of people um don't understand uh they that 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 are probably make them have a um an opportunity to to see you know wow like this is this is where I was going in my relationship or this is what I was doing when I was doing you know different things like that because the last time we uh we got on live that's how we um pretty much starting off right now mm -hmm. is doing live and that's what I'm excited about that we are doing live because it's gonna help us get to um different level and get different artists from um, all over the world. Okay. So y'all guys are going to be doing like live podcasts or will you have like some that are maybe like pre-recorded? Well, it's going to be both. Going to have a mix of both. I kind of like that, you know, kind of yeah. mix it up from time to time. Okay. Yeah. And when can, when can we kind of look forward to that? Cause I know I definitely want to make sure that the AFC knows about it and we'll definitely come over and uh, subscribe. We'll come check the channel out, come watch the videos and definitely try to make sure that you guys can hit the ground one. And like, like when uh, roughly about do you say you guys want to um, get that started? Well, we, we, um, like I said, we recorded one of the um, shows. It was about hurricane Katrina's 17 year anniversary. Um, we um, still getting that edit right now. And uh, we did a live about um, dating in 2022 and um, being in a relationship. So um, we had that on live. Um, it was fun. It was um, it was it was funny, and it was it was it was a good thing for a lot of people to get on. And then um, you had different ages, all of that, you know, as far as men and women getting on and and past, talk about their past relationship and stuff like that. So. Um, we have those two that we had, we, um, pretty, pretty much recorded already, mm -hmm. but, uh, um, actually we've just been doing it right now, pretty much, you know? Yeah, I know. I definitely enjoy talking about relationships. I know my best friend, uh, Kurt Dog, me and him tend to talk about so much stuff. I mean, 
it's, it's kind of one of those things where like people like me and a lot of us, you know, are like perpetually dating. Like you look up and we're always in this dating world and we're, we're trying to figure out the ins and outs, what to do, what not to do and all of that type of stuff. So I think that type of stuff people will really definitely enjoy, especially, you know, with the people from the AFC. I know we'll definitely come over, come support. And I'd love to hear you guys insight. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. And, um, like, uh, like I said, we're going to have three different, um, you know, things that's going on with, with, with the whole show as, um, uh, things grow, you'll see it's going, like I said, it's going to be an experience, man. It's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be funny because KT and Jazz, they funny as hell. My name on the show is, uh, Uncle QB. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> that that fits, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you know yeah, what, because Uncle I QB. think you can, you can speak from like, like that wise perspective, you know what I'm saying? And if I'm not mistaken, I hope you don't mind me putting this out there, but you're a family man though. Yeah, I have a wife and four kids, man. I don't. I'm not ashamed to say that. Mm -hmm. So, and and I think the biggest thing is definitely trying to impart that information because a lot of us are trying to get to a point to where we can find like a lifelong mate. And I think the best way to get there is talking and hearing from people who have already there, been there, and done that. I think those are definitely some uh, important conversations. Right. Right. So That's let's right. let's move on to. The Butler brand clothing, please, man. I want to know everything about it. Go ahead and give us a spill. Tell us about Butler brand clothing. Butler brand clothing. I started it in March this year. I was on previous with a, another clothing line. Um, I love fashion. Um, well, Butler brand, it's more of a high end accessory line. I uh, designed everything. Um, I did it. it. Took me two and a half months to design everything. I had fun doing it. And what made me feel good about Butler Brand, um, how everybody that per has purchased from me, they, um, they love the, the product because it's high end and it's great quality. Um, I have sunglasses for men and women, um, duffel bags, unisex duffel bags, um, unisex slides, uh, cufflinks, um, black mat chain and bracelet um i specialize in wood watches um i have three different wood watches for men i also have socks um um uh, umbrella um what else uh, genuine leather belt genuine leather bucket hat i have a suede daddy cap uh a lot oh of man, it, it's yeah. I have a lot of product, and it's on um, on um, Butler Butler Brand Clothing dot com. Okay, you want so to give us that one more time? Out. I want to make sure that the people hear that nice and clear. I want to know. I want to know what a sentiment. We'll make sure and put the link in the description box. We're gonna make sure and represent that. You want to give it to them again? Where to find? Yeah, it? that is that is Butler Brand Clothing dot com, and the Instagram is at Butler Brand Clothing. Okay, so they can also follow that on Instagram as well. Yes. Accessories, um, it's easy to, um, you know, you don't have to worry about people's sizes. You don't have to worry about those things. And what made me lean towards a high end because I thought um, the Phipps Plaza, not the, not even the Linux, you know, so I thought high end. And so when I designed it, that's why you see everything that how it is online, because uh, that's how the vision that I had for it. Like um your coach and your Louis Vuitton and um Tom Ford and you know companies like that. So I feel like I can do the same thing. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I know for sure we'll make sure and get your information up there and uh, stuff like that, so people will know where to find Butler Brand Clothing. They can go in there, check it out. And um, you got, I know uh, we're actually going to show some pictures of that stuff also. Now, I do understand that you For are sure. still involved in some music, right? Yeah, right now I am. Um, I just started um, a management company, Q-Time Management. And um, right now I'm in the process of getting everything together and I will be managing um, Casme. Casme is from New Orleans, Louisiana. She is... Uh, inspiration singer she can sing pop jazz she was on the voice okay. and um yeah she was on the voice and joan legend was our coach and she did um a lot of rounds she almost got to the end but um she's very talented 
she's a mom now. Congratulations to her and her husband, um, G. Um, so um, that's what I'm working with right now. And it's it, and it's going to be fun, man, because she's a hard worker, man. I seen her in concert one time with Shante Moore. And she went on after Shante Moore. And when I tell you with her band, man, she killed it, bro. She oh, yeah. killed it. She has a single out um, that she's pushing right now called Lit. Featuring Aaron J. Okay. And I know you sent yeah. me that link, so we will make sure that they get an opportunity to hear that. And here's the thing I yeah. think is interesting because, like I said, I know your background, you know, originally, you know, when you were dealing with No Limit Records, and you know, I love to talk about that. I'm definitely not right. going to, um, like, talk too much about that. But I definitely know that, you know, you are very familiar with music as far as that stuff goes. And I know I'm looking forward to it and kind of see, um, her career blossom under you. I know you have a lot of education, a lot of stuff that you you'll be willing to kind of pass down. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And 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 like I said, she's a hard worker, man. That's what's gonna make it easy. Um, even when she started doing commercials and stuff like that, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be live, man. Cause she, like I said, she's an entertainer, man. She is um she's a dope artist. And it's her time. You know, it's our time. And I know she has some music on YouTube. Um, what other platforms, like, uh, can we find her music at right now? It should be um a, a lot of a lot of her music should be on, um, you know, Spotify. It should be on pretty much all of the um all of the um the sites and um everything where you can um pretty much download music because. Uh, she been doing it for, oh my God, it's probably over 20 some years, man. Wow. So she have a lot of work on there. You can even go back and find songs or videos she probably did 11 years ago, you know? Um, she actually, she been in, um, PJ Martin video, um, uh, before, um, she didn't did stuff with Eric Benet. She didn't did stuff with Bobby Jones. She didn't did stuff with Eve. She didn't did commercials like, you know, um, working with Walmart. Um, she didn't been involved in the essence. Um, she, she, she put her foot down and, uh, and touched a lot of things, man. And, wow. Uh, Kazmier is, yeah. Kazmier is going to be, she's going to be it, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. And I definitely appreciate you sharing that. I had no idea that she was that involved with music, but that is definitely awesome. Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So I know that um, whatever links and information I can get as far as um, her music, I will also make sure and post it. So for everybody listening, I will Appreciate put that. those links in the description box. So it'll be very easy. And the more information we get, we'll definitely just go back and update it and make sure that you guys have the latest information uh, on this. Uh, brother, it was an honor to have you here. Um, anything else you kind of want to uh, close us out or, or, or let us know? Uh, just like I said, um, check out butlerbrandclothing.com. Uh, follow at Butler Brand Clothing. Follow at follow at the underscore Den Podcast, and also follow I am Casme. All right, sounds good, man, brother QB. It's always an honor to have you here, brother. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yes, yeah, my DJ pleasure. DJ Just Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's my pleasure man thank you so much so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and transition out of this and if you don't mind i'm gonna go ahead and play some of her music if that's good with you yeah that's good man i appreciate that it's a pleasure brother all right guys so right. here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and uh move over here and i'm gonna let you guys hear her music and i'm also gonna show you guys some of qb's products again shout out to qb the den podcast butler brand clothing and kaz may guys here we go let's get it To the feet down, broken heart. That's who you are. Mm. When I was in need, Lord, you gave. When I was lost, my life you saved. I was wilding out, but you calmed me down. 
You're the medicine that cures my pain Jesus, you're the light in the dark You pull me up above the dark When I was falling apart You told me, son, whenever times get really hard Remember who you are, remember who you are. When I was in need, Lord, you gave When I was lost, my life you saved I was wildin' out, but you calmed me down You're the medicine that cures my pain Yeah, you're the light in the dark the light in the dark, yeah that's me on just like that Shine through each of us We need your love